Hey guys, this is Anthony with TheMovieBlog.com and if you like this video, make sure that you drop a like and if you want to have a say on the direction that I take this channel and join in our discussion, make sure you subscribe. Yo, what's going on guys? This is Anthony with TheMovieBlog.com and I'm back here with another video. This one I want to do a bit of an explanation on the villain of Ant-Man and the Wasp film that's coming out soon, uh, Ghost. After all of the excitement for Avengers Infinity War, I'm pretty sure a lot of fans are going to be interested in what Marvel has coming up next. And although some may guess that the next movie is like Captain Marvel, the truth of the matter is that the Marvel Cinematic Universe actually has Ant-Man releasing uh, very shortly. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp will have Paul Rudd reprising his role as Scott Lang and will take place between the events of Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, giving us insight into what Scott Lang was up to in that time in between film. Utilizing our knowledge of the comics, I want to have a discussion into what we know about the character's origins and get everyone up to speed on what we should expect when the next Ant-Man movie is released. We'll also be introduced to a new villain for the first time in film with Ghost. Ghost, I think, is a very interesting choice for the villain in the next Ant-Man movie. The reason being is that historically, I think Ghost was more of an Iron Man villain than anybody. Ghost is going to be portrayed by Game of Thrones' uh, Hannah John Kamen, uh, but in the comics, Ghost is uh, typically a male, so this is going to be interesting. Ghost is a anti-capitalist saboteur whose true identity was never really revealed. Well, as far as I know, the character's real name was never revealed, but if any of you guys watching this have an idea on who he is, I'd like you to do me a favor and let me know in the comments, because uh, this one's been bugging me for a while. Uh, continuing on, Ghost was a character that originated in the pages of Iron Man back in, I think, Iron Man number 28 number 219 something like that um, don't quote me on that but he was created by a comic convention stalwart David Michelini along with Bob Layton back in the late 80s as a foe for Iron Man Ghost was a corporate saboteur who stated that he had been wronged by big businesses after they took advantage and manipulated his life to exploit his genius Ghost I believe worked in an IT company called um, Omni Sapient as an engineer prior to his life of crime and created computer pro uh, and created a computer processor that could physically change in reaction to its environment becoming uh, actually intangible before the CPU would overheat. I believe the way the story goes is that he wants to take a long vacation or something after working for this company non-stop and, and gets burnt out. It, he kind of gets a romantic interest along the way. His girlfriend is tragically murdered in what appears to be a freak accident only for him to learn that his girlfriend was actually hired by the company, Omni Sapien, to keep him happy so that he could continue to produce and, you know, making uh, progress in his processor. Ghost actually figured this out when he actually placed his consciousness in his creation because, you know, comics, and then wired his body up with a processor that gives him the ability of intangibility. He goes on to get revenge on the company. I think he slaughters the entire board. Like, he, he kills everybody. But that's actually almost an understandable origin for a villain, but also very similar to a lot of other Iron Man villains, which probably helped them greenlight repurposing the character as an Ant-Man villain instead. Add that with the fact that Evangeline Lilly and Michelle Pfeiffer will be playing two different iterations of the Wasp, and we have a female-centric film that will likely see Paul Rudd relying on help of his female compatriots to save the day. Anyway, that's all there really is to know about this character. It's not a very remarkable character in the comics aside from the fact that the cinematic version will be switching genders to make things better. If you're new here to the movie blog, just do me a favor and hit the subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so that I know I'm on the right track. That's all I have for this one. Until next time. Peace.